how you're making breaded pork chops, mashed potatoes, a vegetable, and little pancakes with the leftover bread from the day. You're going to need eggs. You're going to need seasoned breadcrumbs. Instant mashed potatoes. A package of brown gravy. Some oil to fry. Milk for the potatoes and butter. I have four very thin pork chops, really thin, which I'm taking the fat with. Um, this recipe depends on the size of the pork chops. If they were thicker, you would cook them longer. I'm going to cook them in the microwave. Now, I'm going to make these pork chops in the microwave. I got the microwave dish that turns around, and I'm just putting on the bottom some paper towels. You also need some wax paper. Wax paper on the counter. Put two eggs in a, in a, in a bowl. And one egg white. We try not to use too many eggs. We could have used really one egg and one egg white. Because the yolks are the cholesterol. Beat up the eggs. So they're really beat up good. Put the breadcrumbs on the wax paper. Dip the pork chop in the egg. In the wax paper. Cover it all around, good. Put this on the microwave dish with the paper towel. Do it with all the chops. Okay, now these chops are very, very thin. So I'm gonna cook them six minutes on each side in the microwave on medium. As your chops get thicker, they cook a little longer. The recipe is in my microwave cookbook. It tells you how long to cook. One, two, a half inch. These are very small. So I'll do them like six minutes on each side on medium. Now, while I'm not going to do that right away because it's only going to take a few minutes, I take the leftover breadcrumbs and I put it in the leftover egg. I put grated cheese. and some black pepper and a little water. Okay, while I'm gonna mix this up, I got oil in the frying pan, just on the bottom. I'm gonna set it to seven and I'm gonna mix this up. Now, you want it the consistency if not like water. You just gotta get it where you, when you drop it, you're gonna make pancakes and not fall apart. This right now is a little too thick. See, it's like all lumped. So I'm gonna put some water. Just a little, little bit at a time. Push, you don't want it to be like really liquid. And if it does get too liquid, just put more breadcrumbs. But this looks like it's gonna be the right consistency. So it should be a little thick. I'm gonna fry these first because the chops are only gonna take 12 minutes and the mashed potatoes take less. I'm taking one tablespoonful of the pancakes and putting them in the frying pan with the oil. When you see the sides are turning brown, flip it. And now I gotta turn the flame down. This is just cooking a little too fast that the insides aren't really cooking. Okay, now for the mashed potatoes. 
I'm gonna make four servings for two of us because we like a lot of potatoes. In a pot, I put one and a third cup of water, like the box says, two tablespoons of butter. Leave that for a minute. I'm going to measure one and a third cup of potatoes. I'm putting it in here to reserve it, and a half a cup of milk. Before I start the water for the potatoes, I'm gonna put the pork chops in the micro, on medium for six minutes. I just turned them over, they really didn't cook like the recipe said they would. So now I'm gonna put them for six minutes on 80 and see what happens. I am now turning the pork chops over again and they're really not cooking as well as they should. So I'm gonna put them back for six minutes on 90. So I'm now taking out the pork chops, which really don't look too done, but I think they will be. We put them on the table. Okay, I am now putting one and a third cups of water with two tablespoons of butter or margarine. And if I could find the salt, I'll put a little sprinkle of salt. We gotta wait till this comes to a boil. In the meantime, I am going to put in the microwave the vegetables. Package of gravy mix in the cup of water. It's gonna go in the microwave on high for one minute. It's gotta go one minute five times. Every time it goes off, you stir it and put it for another five minutes on high. The water and the butter is boiling. I will now put in the reserved potatoes. How much? It's been reserved, one and a third cup and a half a cup of milk. 